Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. In this part of Angular, we will learn that how we can create header in Angular application. So, is that any new feature of Angular? Actually, not. So, this is a very ordinary feature of any website. So, why we are creating it? Reason is when we are creating header, we will get to know how we can manage local style and global style. Second thing, you will get to know how we can reuse the component. Third thing, we will get a brush up of uh, angular component because angular component are the base of any application that's why so and you will just get to know that how we can add some style and other stuff and we will create a beautiful header right so let's start with the first point and create a header component so there is a two way to create header first thing is that header component first thing you can create a manually four files and uh, add in the app dot uh, dot ts but it will take around 30 minutes so we should not waste our time and just simply use your command line ng g4 generate c4 component and simply put here our uh, component name which is header and it will just take some time and you will find that four new file will be created and one file is updated so that's enough for command line so i'm closing it so now let's see how we can use this co header component in app or component. So simply put here app. This is basically a prefix and our component name, which is header. So how do I know that I have to put here header component? So if you want to confirm, you can just go to the header dot component dot ts and you can just check out the selector. Your this tag, I mean component tag should be similar to the selector. And now you will find that this is working fine so now let's add some style uh, in our uh, app dot component dot html so we will add some html after that we will add some style right so what i'm just going to do i'm going to make here navbar just use here image and i have a image here which is the angular logo so we can just uh, quickly add it inside our uh, image source after that let's create a ul li a tag and we can put here hash and let's put the menu name let's say home and with the same way we can create some more menus like uh, about login and users list or something whatever you want right and now you will find that our head is actually look like this. So this is not look like really a header. So first thing is that we can just add some style. So let me add here some style to the image first of all. And I am putting a width to it. Let's say 70 pixel. And now you will find that this is much better. And now let's get these menus to the right side. So just simply put here nav ul and uh, we can simply put here mm, 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 float right uh, and after that so that we can just hide these uh, uh, just give me a moment hide these uh, dot uh, bullets so we can just simply um, use here list style type so just simply push put here list style type and just put here none and now you will find that they are on right side but still they are not looking good so now just add some style to the ul li and just show a display uh, uh, let's say it can be inline block and we can add some padding also but before that let's check it out okay this is much better but there should be some gap all right so one more thing let's add here a background to nav let's use here nav and use here background color it can be sky blue and now you will find that there is some uh, white boundary uh, to the top and left and right to our uh, header so where it is coming from so actually this is a by default padding so to control it we can add here global style so that it can be applied on the all screens it will be the body padding zero 
and now you will find that there is a no padding at all again there is padding just give me a moment what's wrong with that ah uh, sorry i think that is margin okay let me check here what is that sometime i just skip from the mind zero pixel and now we can check it again okay that's fine so this is actually not padding this is actually a margin my bad right so now we have to add here some padding from left and top because see that this is actually sticking with the uh, our browser so inside the header dot component at uh, uh, css with the uh, background color we can also add here some padding so let's add here padding 10 pixel and you will find that this is looking much better so now again focus on these menus and uh, let's go to the style let me add here some padding let's say padding is uh, 10 pixel or something again fine but these menus are not looking well because this is color is not suit with the background and there is underline also so that what we can do here we can add some uh, style to this uh, anchor tag also let's say color You can just simply put here white color after that uh, we can add here text decoration it can be none so that we can remove the underline and cursor can be pointer all right so now you will find that this is looking much better so with that way we can create a header and we can reuse with the old page till now we are not able to just show the all about us login and user page but whenever we will create just simply copy this uh, header tag like from here and you can reuse it but if you just make it copy and paste here also you will find that this is actually reusing here and you will get the three copy of it this is much easier to reuse right so and you also just get to know how we can uh, uh, how we can create a global style and local style also here you can see that we have a, a global style in style.css i know that this is a really just a line but just we get to know that if you have to write some style for a body level or the complete application level we can write it here and uh, for component style we can write it inside our component so thanks for watching this video if you still have any any query you can ask me in the comment box